Death by Ronald Ross Read for LibriVox.org by Nemo Death One The sun said, I have trod the hateful darkness dead, And the hand of approving God is placed upon my head, And cried, Where art thou, night? Come forth, thou worm, appear, that I may slay thee quite. And the knight answered, Hear. And the son said, My might is next to his, most high. Canst thou destroy me, knight? And the knight answered, I. Two. This mooned desert round, those deeps before me spread. I sought for hope and found him beautiful, but dead. In this resounding waste, I sought for hope and cried, Where art thou, hope? I gasped. I found that he had died. I cried for hope. The briars pointed the way he'd gone. Cold were the heavenly fires, colder the numb-lipped moon. Where art thou, hope? I go, returning, he had said. I found him white as snow, and beautiful but dead. He would return, he said. When that I heeded not, lo, he had fallen dead. Dead, hope is dead is not i tear my hands with briars my face in earth i thrust i curse the heavenly fires i drink the desert dust a threat of thunder fills us low of voice the waves a breathless horror stills the sand a sea of graves methought the mocking moon opened her yellow lips and spake the planets swoon in vapory eclipse fool all the world is dust even i who shine on thee there perish and add thy dust to that sepulchral sea three in exile here i trod and with presumptuous breath called out aloud for god the answer came from death o world thy quest is cold o world who answereth distracted thou hast called the answer came from death i called for god and heard no voice but that of death then came the bitter word fool God himself is death. Great death, not little death, that nips the flowers unfurled and stays the infant's breath, but death that slays the world. And in despair I ran and stumbled at the marge and saw from span to span death's ocean rolling large. In only the breath accursed of billows barring hope that thundered death and burst in tears upon the slope nor in the heavens hope the sun drew in and shrank his flashes from the cope and answered death and sank i sought the sacred night and solace of the stars for surely in their light no shade of death appears like tears their answer came dropped one by one from heaven their answer was the same no other word was given four but then the silence said resolve thy visioning mind is it action for the dead or seeing in the blind cry not with fruitless breath is it not understood if god had uttered death then also death is good 
abandon wrath and ruth touch not the high nor ask for god alone the truth perform thy daily task end of poem this recording is in the public domain The Monsoon by Ronald Ross Read for LibriVox.org by Nemo The Monsoon One What ails the solitude? Is this the judgment day? The sky is red as blood, the very rocks decay, and crack and crumble, and there is a flame of wind, wherewith the burning sand is ever massed and thinned. Even the sickly sun is dimmed by the dearth, and screaming dead leaves run about the desolate earth. Die then, we are accursed, and strike consuming God, the very tiger's thirst too much to drink of blood. The eagle soareth not, the viper bites herself, the vulture hath forgot to rend the dying wolf. The world is white with heat, the world is rent and riven, the world and heavens meet, the lost stars cry in heaven. 2. Art thou an angel? Speak, stupendous cloud that comest, what wrath on whom to wreak, redeemest thou or doomest? Thine eyes are of the dead, a flame within thy breast thy giant wings outspread like deaths upon the west thy lifted locks of hair are flames of fluttering fire thy countenance of despair made mad with inner ire three who cries the night is black as death and not as night the world has fallen back to nothing sound and light and moon and stars and skies thunder and lightning all gone gone not even cries the cricket in the hall the dog without at last the end of all the hours was that a spirit passed between the slamming doors we slept not yet we wake was it a voice that cried Awake, ye sleepless, wake, ye deathless who have died. No voice, no light, no sound. It was the fancy that at midnight makes rebound of thoughts we labor at. At midday, let us sleep. The night is very black, the heat a madness. Sleep before the day comes back. Who cries? the voice again it is the storm that breaks the tempest and the rain the quivering crash that shakes the thunder and the flash the brand that rips and roars the winds of god that dash and split a thousand doors the chariots of god that gallop on the plain and shake the solid sod awake the rain, the rain. Thunder and burst, O sky, thunder and boil, O deep. Let the thick thunder cry, let the live lightning leap. Smite white light like the sword of heaven from heaven's height. Consume the thing abhorred and quell the dreadful night. Smite white light like the brand of God from heaven to earth and purge the desolate land of this destroying dearth four o wilderness of death o desert rent and riven where art thou for the breath of heaven hath made thee heaven i know not now these ways the rocky rifts are gone deep verdured like the braes of blessed avalon here where there were no flowers the heavenly waters flow and through a thousand bowers innumerable 
blossoms blow. End a poem. This recording is in the public domain. Reply by Ronald Ross. Read for LibriVox.org by Nemo. Reply. One. This day relenting God hath placed within my hand a wondrous thing, and God be praised at his command, seeking his secret deeds with tears and toiling breath. I find thy cunning seeds o oh, million murdering death i know this little thing a myriad men will save o oh, death where is thy sting thy victory o oh, grave two before thy feet i fall lord who made high my fate for in the mighty small thou showedst the mighty great henceforth i will resound but praises unto thee, though I was beat and bound, thou gavest me victory. Though in these depths of night, deep dungeoned, I was hurled, thou sentest me a light, wherewith to mend the world. O exile, while thine eyes were weary with the night, thou weepedest, now arise, and bless the Lord of light. Hereafter let thy lyre be bondsman to his name his thunder and his fire will fill thy lips with flame he is the lord of light he is the thing that is he sends the seeing sight and the right mind is his three the caged bird awake all night laments his doom and hears the dim dawn break about the darkened room but in the day he sips, contented in his place, his food from human lips, and learns the human face. So though his home remain, dark in his fields untrod, the exile has this gain, to have found the face of God. Confounded at the close, confounded standing where, no further pathway shows, we find an angel there. To guide us, God is good. The seeing sight is dim. He gives us solitude, that we may be with him. By that we have we lose, by what we have not get, and where we cannot choose, the crown of life is set. Lo, while we ask the stars to learn the will of God, his answer unawares, strike sudden from the sod not when we wait the word the word of god is given the voice of god is heard as much from earth as heaven the voice of god is heard not in the thunder fit a still small voice is heard half heard and that is it end a poem this recording is in the public domain Man by Ronald Ross, read for LibriVox.org by Caitlin S. Man Man putteth the world to scale, and weigheth out the stars. The Eternal hath lost her veil, the infinite her bars. His balance he hath hung in heaven, and set the sun therein. He measures the lords of light and fiery orbs that spin no riddle of darkest night he dares not look within athwart the roaring rack of stars he plumbs the chasm of heaven the wings of the wind are his to him the world is given his servant the lightning is and slave the ocean even he scans the mountains yet unclimbed and sounds the solid sea with fingers of thought he holds what is or e'er can be, and, touching it not, unfolds the sealed mystery. The pygmy hands, eyes, head God gave, a giant's are become. But though to this height sublime by labor he hath clomb, one summit he hath to climb, one deep the more to plumb, 
to read himself and rule himself, and so to reach the sum. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Life by Ronald Ross, read for LibriVox.org by Queen Tiffany Rose. Life, from birth to death, the life of man is infinite on the earth to know and do that which he can and be what he is worth. Our mortal life, however wrought, eternity is indeed for every moment brings a thought and every thought a deed and that is so much infinite which may be divided much and if we live with might and mirth our human life is such for him who has not might and mirth that which is not now is never and he who can live well on earth does live in heaven for ever End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. World Song by Ronald Ross. Read for LibriVox.org by Queen Tiffany Rose. World Song. O vision inviolate, O splendor supernal, we stand in thy white light like lamps alit in day before thee omnipotent in sight of thy glory our countenance is withered like stars in the sun before thee our symphonies are stilled into silence thy wisdom we wot not nor ever shall we know but from thy high throne o god thy voice and thy thunder and utterance reiterate with glory and strength. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. End of Philosophies by Ronald Ross.